Shout out to the Rastas Reliable. Subscribe, like, comment. If memory serves, when TikTok came out, there were videos of mainly kids doing funny and or gaming videos. So in my opinion, it was primarily for them. Then I started to see more and more adults populating the site. To be clear, I do not have TikTok nor do I watch it, aside from what others post from there on YouTube. Well, technically, none. But as usual, toxicity is like cancer. It metastasizes into areas not previously affected. Social sites are no different. Said levels of toxicity corrupts with impunity, meaning without punishment. And like a wild child getting away with unfavorable behavior, leveling up of rogue acts and or words of poisonous nature. This, ladies and gents, promotes such elevated amounts of broken individuals becoming comfortable with fuckery and clearly states, Hey, come over here and be as ratchet as a can be. And while you're at it, I'll do the next male or female clown. Broken people cannot fix other people as they have not, have not even put in the work for themselves to be able to participate in online platforms. You, the viewer, have seen just what I am referring to regarding the nonsensical aspect of online trends that clearly promotes gutter mind and discourages integrity and everything positive or uplifting. I will use myself as an example. There are not many views on this channel for repairing, for repairing life's issues but many for the content speaking about human intimacy. You know, organ to organ. Now I get it. We all like a little bit of drama. The problem is, after their love or lust is gone, shout out to Earth, Wind, and Fire, then what? I'll tell you what. Complaints. Complaints about how there's no good men available. Pooky this, crusty that. Hating on males and even men who no longer move in that energy going elsewhere. You know, the whole crab in the barrel syndrome. Shout out to Michonne Denise for her work as she recently did a video and touched on what I was currently working on, which was this video regarding how TikTok was for kids and kids and adults' bodies now heavily populate the social site with fuckery, whining, blubbering, objectify themselves, all while saying to the viewers, Don't objectify me! I am not just a piece of meat! All while shaking a piece of meat. Make it make sense. Notice that I did not say sharing stories of triumph or inspiring anecdotes. Children get a pass on certain things as they do not know better until they are made aware that their behavior is unacceptable and they learn to become better beings being better. So if that's true, what's wrong with those who look like adults on a child's platform acting a damn fool? Why can't they get it together? It's a simple answer. Some girls will never grow up, just old, some guys follow girls and also act up. Behaving one's shoe size will always be more interesting than, say, breaking some cycles that destroy families, both for profit and or ego. The phrase is, when one knows better, they do better, but only by choice and some by force. Teach his own and you do you? Well, stay offline with that nonsense as young minds are present, watching, and have a copycat mindset. Which is why it's important to mitigate bad behavior physically, financially, or otherwise. To create greater, to create a greater nation with your circles of family, friends, and associates to later enjoy the true spices of life. Which is longevity and prosperity. And that's the reality.